Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about iterable, iterator and list iterator. In this video I will explain what are these interfaces, how it works and what problem it solves. So my friend if you are willing to learn what is iterable, iterator and list iterator then this video is for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So let's get started. Alright. So guys, before I talk anything about iterable, iterator and list iterator, first we have to understand this collection hierarchy. So if you look at this hierarchy, there are two interfaces that plays a crucial role in order to understand iterable, iterator and list iterator. So let's see it. So if you look at this hierarchy, the first interface on top is iterable interface. Okay. And this interface is extended by collection interface. Okay, so this means the methods that are defined in iterable interface is also present in collection interface. Okay, and then collection interface is extended by list, queue and set interfaces. This means whatever present in collection interface is also present in list, queue and set interface because all are extending each other. So now iterable interface defines one method that is iterator. So this means this iterator method is present in list, queue and set interface. Correct. Now the list, queue and set interface is implemented by array list, linked list, array deck, priority queue, so on and so forth. This means all this collection class must implement iterator method. Okay. And what this function does? It simply return an instance of iterator. Okay. And here iterator is an interface. So iterator basically is an interface that are present in collection framework. Okay. So far so clear. Now there is one more interface that is list interface. Okay. And list interface define its method that is list iterator. Okay. So now guys if you look at this diagram carefully list interface is extending collection and collection is extending iterable. So collection already has this method iterator and list has its own method list iterator. This means Ultimately, list has two methods. One is iterator and second one is list iterator. Okay. And which collections are implementing list interface? Array list and link list. So this means array list and link list both implements iterator as well as list iterator. Okay. So when array list, so here the iterator method returns iterator. Okay. Meaning the instance of iterator and list iterator returns the instance of list iterator. So here the list iterator is also an interface. So far so clear. So long story short, the array list and link list implements iterator, list iterator and returns and returns object of iterator when we call iterator on array list and link list and returns instance of list iterator when we call list iterator on array list and link list. Okay. But here is a catch that if you look at these collection array deck and priority queue, this collection only implements the queue interface. Okay. And queue interface only extend the collection interface and collection interface extend the iterable interface. This means the priority queue, array deck, tree set and all other collection classes does not implement list iterator. Yes, you heard that right. The list iterator is only specific to array list and link list. Okay. Whereas iterator interface is implemented by all other collection classes. For example, array deck, priority queue, tree set, hash set and linked hash set. So I hope by now you understood that there are four interfaces and all these interfaces plays a crucial role in understanding of iterable, iterator and list iterator. And these are first one is iterable interface, second one is iterator interface, third one is list interface and fourth is list iterator interface. Okay. So I hope this is clear to you. Now let's move on and try to answer this question that what is iterable. So iterable are basically objects that we can iterate over using loops. Collection implements iterable interface to make its object iterable. Okay. So guys, you may ask here that earlier you said that iterable is an interface and now you are telling me that iterables are objects. Then what is the difference between objects and interface? So guys, to understand the concept between interface and objects, we have to understand this collection implements iterable interface to make its object iterable. Then only we can able to iterate the elements of the collection. Okay. 
so although a table is a interface but collection implements that so that it can make its elements iterable okay and this is how object oriented programming works so now you understand what is iterable now let's move on to the next question that is what is iterator so well iterator is an object that is used to iterate over all the elements of the collection okay let me put this in a perspective so using iterable interface we make the elements of collection iterable okay so that we can iterate over all the elements using for loop or any other mechanism but after making all the elements iterable we need some sort of mechanism so that we can iterate over all the elements right so that part is defined by iterator interface so basically iterator interface defines three method that is has next next and remove method okay so whichever collection implements iterator interface must give implementation of all these three methods okay and for your kind information iterator interface is unidirectional this means we can only move in one direction and that is forward direction okay so we will see in a practical demo that how iterator works actually okay so now you understood what is iterator now let's move on to the next question that is what is list iterator so list iterator is a enhanced version of iterator with more features okay and it is also used to iterate over all the elements of the collection so for example iterator has only three methods okay but list iterator has nine methods okay and these are has next next has previous previous next index previous index add remove and sort so as you can see here we have additional method as compared to iterator okay and the list iterator has in total nine methods okay and list iterator is bidirectional so that we can move forward as well as backward as you can see here that we have methods like has previous and previous this method is used to traverse back in the collection okay so the only difference between the iterator and list iterator is list iterator is an enhanced version of iterator and the purpose of both the iterator is to traverse the collection okay so by now you understood what is iterable what is iterator and what is list iterator now this brings us to the next question that is why we need iterators right so the best way to answer this question is through this story okay so let's start the story so there is one guy okay and his name is joy and he is a developer and joy is developing an e-commerce application for his client okay and his client is expecting to get 100 orders a day and his client said that he wants to list down all the orders on the screen okay so what he did he simply create an array list and then he access all the elements one by one and list all the orders one by one on the screen this is what he did but as time passes the order is increasing exponentially now there are too many orders in the system so don't you think the process joy is using is tedious and tiresome so for example let's say the orders are 1000 then he had to get every order one by one and list all the orders on the screen so to solve all of these problems iterator come into picture to rescue us so that is why iterators are used to iterate through all the elements of the collection so that we do not have to manually get each item one by one and do the processing okay so now we understand why we need iterators now let's understand how iterator internally works so basically iterator internally works on cursors now this begs the question that what the hell cursor is again new terminology yes but don't worry it is very easy to understand cursors so let's answer this question that what does it mean by cursor so cursor is a internal structure of collection that is used to get the reference of elements of a collection so basically cursor is used to get the reference of elements of a collection now pay your attention here that i am using this word reference and why i am using this word reference because collection only works on reference type so let's say you have collection of three elements one two three so all these elements are object obviously so objects are stored in some other location on heap and the address of all these objects are stored in collection okay and address basically means references so collection is basically a collection of references okay in terms of collection framework so now you understand that collection holds the references of the object now again back to the question that what is cursor so cursor is an internal structure of collection that is used to get the reference of elements now let's understand how cursor actually works 
So let's say we have collection and in this collection there are three elements E1, E2 and E3. Okay. So when we call iterator method on any of the collection, let's say array list and link list, we get iterator object. Correct. And this object internally create a cursor that is used to get the reference of all the elements of the collection. For example, after getting the object of iterator, you call this function has next. Okay. So right now cursor is present at this position. Okay. So cursor is going to check whether it has next element or not. This time it has next element. So it returns true. And when you call next method on iterator object, it simply get you the next element that is element E1. Okay. And after calling next method this the cursor simply moves to next position here okay now if you call has next method on iterator object it checks whether it has next element or not now this time it has next element it returns true now after has next if you call next method it's simply going to return the next element to the current position of the cursor that is element e and after returning the element it simply move the cursor to next position okay and this is how when you call has next and next, it will move cursor to next position. Okay. So now you can see that the cursor reaches to last position and there are no elements beyond this position. So if you call has next, it will return false. So if you carefully observe these cursor positions, you can see that number of cursor positions are equal to number of elements plus one. Okay. So if there are three elements, then there is going to be four cursor positions. Okay. So this is how cursor actually works and this is how it returns the reference of the elements of the collection. So guys, I hope you really, really understood what is iterable interface, iterable interface, list iterable interface and what are the roles they are playing in collection framework. Okay. And you also understand what is cursor, how cursor works internally and how iterator and list iterator use cursor internally to get the reference of all the elements of the collection. So this was all the theory about the iterable iterator and list iterator. In next video, we are going to see the practical demo of iterator and list iterator. And we will see practical demo of all the methods provided by list iterator and iterator. So on this note, let's end this video. So guys, as usual, if you have learned something valuable from this video, then hit the like button in order to make YouTube algorithm happy. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon. So my friend, you never miss any upcoming video. So this is all from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.